Hi YouTube family, welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you who are new. My name is Brianna Weiler and today I'm going to take you along with me, actually it'll be a couple of days. I am driving up to Devil's Lake, North Dakota to explore and show you guys around a little bit of North Dakota. I've lived here for almost two years now and I have not been up there so it'll be fun to explore it and show you guys as well. It's a little bit of a cloudy day out but it'll be fine because that'll kind of cool off the day a little bit. It'll be 84 for the high, but going up there, it'll probably be a little bit cooler, a couple de degrees cooler at least, but it'll be nice to be up by the lake and be able to kind of explore a new town. And yeah, so I'm excited. And my husband's been working up there the past, he's worked there a week ago, a little bit over a week ago, he worked there for a week and now he's up there working again. So I decided to just take the take a couple days and go up there and visit him and see the city and whatnot while he's at work. And well, the city, it's a town, but I'm going to take you guys along with me. I may not show too much of the road between here and there because I am driving myself. I normally have my husband with me, but he's already up there. So I am going to get ready to go pack up the car and I'm going to head out. Today is day two up in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. I came up last night. I got here about 5.30. It was a three hour drive, about a three hour drive. And it was beautiful country coming up through here. Um, on my way back home, I'm gonna go the same way. And I'm gonna take a couple stops along the way so I can show you guys a few of the cool, cute little things that I saw in between the city and here. So I figured today I will probably explore town a little bit. We went down to a cute little cafe for dinner last night. Um, I have inserted some video and pictures and whatnot from that in this video prior to this, but I will probably go down in that direction again. It was a cute little downtown, old buildings. I will probably explore down there a little bit. I think there's a few like museum type things down there. So I'll probably go to maybe one of those and just explore a little bit and I'll take you along with me. Right now I'm just getting some planning done for my new YouTube videos for the month. I have ideas written down. Yes, I do it on paper. It's easier for me to keep track of and kind of just get a good idea. I write down my goals. I have a page in here somewhere that is all my goals for the year, my goals for my YouTube channel for the month. That was the month of June. By the time you see this, it's already July. My All of my stuff I write down. I write down some ideas at times for my videos. When I'm doing a sit down, I'll write down general idea of what I'm doing so that way I know what I'm gonna talk about with you guys. And that way I kind of on topic, but this most of my videos this month aren't really sit down videos. They are just like fun little videos. So I just thought I'd share that with you. I'm just sitting here at the little desk here in the hotel room. And yeah, so I will see you when I get ready and am out exploring. So I got ready for the day today. I am going to go into town and just check some stuff out and walk around and show you guys some of the older buildings. I just got dressed in one of my favorite little skirt bottoms and one of my favorite tees and I'm comfy and we'll be out for a little while. So I'm gonna go into the downtown area, probably get lunch at like a fast food place that's right up the street. And then I will be back here and probably go swimming later. <music>
Masonic Temple building. It's a very pretty old building. There is the courthouse. There is their grocery store. Levers is the local grocery store here. And then they also have a war memorial building here as well. This is the site of that war memorial building and it is I love the brickwork on these buildings. You can tell it's older brick, but it's still got its colors. I like the variation in the colors on this brick as well. It's just so pretty seeing some of the older buildings and whatnot throughout the town. And you can tell it's it has its history in this town. They have some really pretty older buildings. These buildings, the light poles, everything here is just so pretty and it has an older feel to the town. It's a quaint little lakeside town. Super pretty. And then you have this pretty building, which I believe is probably some sort of form of housing. It's such a pretty building with all the detail. And I believe it used to be the old firehouse. It was now placed on the National Register's list. And then there's a Presbyterian church. Super pretty older building. With the pretty brick as well. I love these older signs. Motel City Center. And that has like the no vacancy vacancy sign. It's so pretty. And then here we have the Methodist Episcopal building, I believe. It is so pretty. All the brick again. And it has stained glass windows with the outer pane as like a solid pane of glass to protect them. But I wish I knew more about the history of this gorgeous town, Devil's Lake to share with you guys, but definitely look it up. And if you're in North Dakota and you're exploring, you should definitely come check it out. It's a cute little town, quaint little lake town. And this church, I'm going to start from a little bit further away because it is so tall. I don't know once I get to the corner, if I'll actually be able to get that whole building in the frame, but it is so gorgeous. And that one is the Lutheran church here in town. So pretty, so detailed, the tower, and how high it is with the cross and everything. It's just, it's beautiful. And this Episcopal church is beautiful. The stonework is gorgeous on it. I love the, the bright pops of red on it. And then it has like the iron crosses on the top of the building. It is so pretty. I just thought I would share a few of the gorgeous buildings that I have been able to see here in Devil's Lake. And then here is Devil's Lake City offices. It's a little cute corner building with that brick again as well. And then I am now walking by the Sheriff's House Museum. It is a gorgeous building right next to the courthouse. It's beautiful. It's a museum, so you should go check it out. So now before I go get food, I think I'm gonna stop into this grocery store and check it out a little. We don't have them down where I live, so I figured I'd give it a check. And then also I would end up probably buying a cold drink. It is a warm day. I've been walking quite a bit, so. I'm gonna go in and grab a drink and I will talk to you guys in just a little bit. This is one of the largest grocery stores I've been in, in North Dakota. It's pretty interesting to see the difference in sizes and things that are carried in the stores. So I'm gonna look around a bit. They have bags of cookie dough, different kinds. Sounds delicious. And they also have these fun little pastries. 
in here too. They're Pride of Dakota, so they're made locally. Super cool options at this grocery store. So I stopped at the grocery store. I looked around a bit. I only grabbed a couple of drinks. I got a couple of sparkling ice peach nectarine, one of my favorite flavors for summertime. And Levers Foods is the grocery store I stopped at. It was so good. Um, to just get out of the sun for a little bit and check it out. I grabbed a couple of these waters and a uh, beef jerky stick that's from Wisconsin. So I'm gonna try those out, but I'm gonna head back to the car now because I'm getting hungry. So I'm gonna go and probably go to Taco John's for lunch because that just sounds good. And for my West Coast friends, that is like a Taco Bell, but slightly different. So I will show you guys what I get once I get back to the hotel. So before, before I leave the downtown, I just realized that you can see the Devil's Lake water tower from here. So cool. I love when the towns have their name on the water towers. So that's it. And now I'm gonna head out to go get food. Hello, I am back at the hotel after walking around downtown. I stopped and got food. I was so hungry when I got back that I ate it all and forgot to record. I got two tacos and they're tater tots with some nacho cheese and a lemonade. I still have my lemonade from Taco John's. So good. I'll try and record dinner tonight. I don't know where we're going or if it's just gonna be us or if it's gonna be us and his coworker. So I'll try and record a little bit, at least my food and share with you guys what I got for dinner. I don't know what we're gonna do. There's a Mexican food place here that we have in where we live. And I, uh, there's also a pizza ranch, which is big out here. So we might go to one of those two places. We'll see. We might go to something local. I will share with you guys in a little bit. So tonight's dinner is from Pizza Ranch. We got cheesy breadsticks. They call this the sweet swine pizza, but that's a Hawaiian pizza. And it's delicious. I figured I would show you guys, since I said I would tell you guys what we were having for dinner. We just grabbed pizza to go and eating it in the hotel room. I'll pick this up probably again tomorrow. Good morning. Today is my last day here in Devil's Lake. I am getting ready to pack up the car and head out. And I figured I would let you guys know. And I'm going to take you guys along with me on the drive home just a little bit. And I'll show you some of the stops I made. I decided to go with a more casual, comfy biker shorts and tank top look for my ride home. It'll be more comfortable for driving home. I don't care really what I look like because nobody's really going to see me. So I'm going to probably stop at like a, maybe two places on the way home and I will take you along with me. I made it to one of the lake turnoffs on the side of the road. I was able to pull off to be able to show you guys how gorgeous the lakes are here. Sorry you can hear my car running um, but I just pulled over just to kind of give you guys a view of the lake and some of the things surrounding it. This isn't Devil's Lake, I don't believe. I might be wrong. I'm not 100% sure, I haven't seen signs, but I thought I would just pull off and show you guys a little bit of this, this beautiful lake. It's just gorgeous, so I thought I would show you guys. made it home. As you can tell, I've taken a shower and have my hair up in the towel and I have gotten some dishes going in the dishwasher. I got the washer, go the washing machine going with the clothes. I am just trying to get some stuff done before I have to go to work tomorrow. So I'm going to end the video now. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little trip with me and I am going to end it here. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below in the comment box. And I love to 
get to talk to you guys and get to know who's watching my videos and I truly hope you guys enjoy this. I am so grateful for each and every one of you who decide to click on this video and watch it all the way through. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great week. Bye!